Fortnite can be pretty controversial, so I asked you all to give your hottest takes on the game. Some were smoldering, whilst others were lukewarm, whilst others were so cold, I'm convinced the posters of said comments don't know what a hot take even is. And they're probably like nine years old or something. I don't know. Also, happy chapter two remix day. Um, I, I, I won't be able to play it today because I had plans, but, but, but you have this video instead. Yay. So here we are. I made this post like two weeks ago and we're just going to sort by newest and we're going to go down the list. Some I already responded to, um, via the comment section, uh, but I'm going to go in more in depth than what I just wrote in those comments. So this first one, chapter two, season two is very overrated. Yeah, it's a little overrated. I remember at the time I didn't really like that season all that much. If I'm being completely honest, I mean, like it was all right. It was way too long. It was during that like COVID time period. I think a lot of people forget that that season lasted way too long. I remember when season three dropped, um, despite hating the charge shotgun, at least it was like new content. You know what I'm saying? So I do think it's one of the better chapter two seasons, but is it a little overrated? Yeah, probably. Next up, season OG wasn't OG enough. I disagree completely. I think season OG was fine. I had a lot of fun during it. The loot pool was fine. Um, epic and legendary uh, weapons were actually rare. Shields were a little rarer. <laughs> the loot pool was just really fun. It reminded me a lot of those OG days. The only thing I guess you could argue that wasn't OG was like the lobby menu and some of the map later on, like season seven, like the season seven version of season OG wasn't really season seven. It looked completely different than the original <laughs> season seven. There were a few changes around the map, like in Tilted Towers, like big, the big tower, like Castle Tower wasn't in the middle of Tilted Towers. I know that pissed a lot of people off, but I wouldn't say it wasn't OG enough. Th there were some changes, but it, it wasn't like deal breaking for me. Chapter three, season four was pretty good. It was, it wasn't bad. Like, I'm not going to sit here and say like that season sucked. It was just kind of average. I played the game a little here and there. Um, I wasn't really motivated enough to get tier 100. I thought, it, it, you know, the battle pass was pretty okay, I guess. I don't know. It was an average Fortnite season. I feel like a lot of these takes are pretty lukewarm so far. Some people are going to disagree. A lot of people are going to agree. Pixel Punch YouTube says we've never experienced peak Fortnite and there's never been a time when every feature been in the game all at once. Mm, no, I don't. I don't think this is a very good argument because you can make an argument about like, like, OK, so get, let's put it this way. There's always going to be a time in the present where there was peak Fortnite, right? Like I could say this about any game. Like I could say, hey, we've never experienced peak Call of Duty because there's an infinite future with infinite Call of Duties. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't just say that. Like, you can make that argument for anything. So I, I don't really I don't really see what you're trying to say. Say here. Chapter two was the best chapter. Yeah, I completely disagree. Now, look, a lot of people are going to call me blind in my nostalgia, but like hands down, the best chapter was chapter one. Look, you just had to be there. You know what I'm saying? You had to be there when all the streamers were getting really big. You had to be there when they brought back Skull Trooper. You had to be there when seasons four, five, three, even seven dropped. You know what I'm saying? You had to be there when the Infinity Blade was in the game. Like you had a lot of problems. I'm not going to say it, it wasn't like flawed in any way. I think that's kind of silly uh, to say that. I don't know. Season OG came out and it was the most fun I had in the game since forever so like what does that tell you i don't know i just had the most fun in chapter one now here's a hot take coming from me i think um because i, I see a lot of hate for chapter four all the time i think chapter four was really good it was one of the best times to be playing Fortnite. Maybe it was just, you know, because a lot of friends of mine were playing at the time, but I genuinely think chapter four was some of the best, like, quote unquote, modern Fortnite I've ever played. And that segues perfectly into this next take right here. Gameplay wise, chapter four was the best one. Honestly, I agree a lot with that, with that statement right there. People hate way too much on chapter four. They just do. Let's put it this way. Chapter four, season one. Okay. You had the shockwave hammer. You had um, the, the sword gun, whatever, whatever it was called, the Excalibur. That's what it was. You had a completely new map. It was a little smaller. So, it, you know, fights would happen more often. And then the My Hero Academia mythics came out. Like that was fun. Chapter four, season two, one of the best POIs of all time drops, Mega City. Like if you don't think that, like you're smoking something because that POI was so cool. And in that same season, there were the, the katanas movement right off the bat. And then the Attack on Titan collab happened. More movement. Then Spider-Man was added into the game with lightsabers. Like that is so... Look, it's a little hectic, but 
as a casual player, that was so fun. We don't talk about season three of chapter four, um, but season four, chapter four was, was pretty good. It was the whole spy thing again from chapter two, which I guess I thought was kind of lame, but like the gameplay was fun. I had fun with it. But yeah, that first half of chapter four, I think is the best modern Fortnite I've ever played. As I said here, Chapter four was the best modern Fortnite I've played. I mean, come on. Cat Paw Shoe says the metaverse is redundant. I mean, yeah, I don't I don't really know what the, what they're doing. I think the whole um creator occupied or creator controlled platform thing is is really cool with the whole discover tab, but I think they're completely flopping at even doing that. So this whole metaverse idea is is in the long term it's good because it's gonna it's gonna keep the game alive. At its current state, it sucks. It's so bad. So I guess I kinda have agree with that now this is a point i'd like to to highlight uh ivory fnc here says zero build casuals have no right in telling people to adapt to new items when they couldn't adapt to building and i basically just went in here and said hey that argument just sucks anyway like the whole just adapt argument sucks and he actually agrees with me so you know hey let me let me boil down on on the whole just adapt thing because i hear it way too much and i think it sucks listen i criticized the shooting in chapter five for being projectile based instead of hit scan based a lot of people were just telling me hey you know just get used to it you know just adapt just adapt to the game just just you know accept it like no if i think a mechanic is bad I'm going to criticize it and projectile based shooting does not fit the play style in which Fortnite is the most fun for me. So of course I'm going to be against it. I'm not just going to adapt to any change of the game. So yes, the just adapt argument sucks. It's it's stupid. I just stop making this. This person says Donald Mustard was single handedly the reason Fortnite was so popular for so long. Well, I mean, I think the numbers really go against this comment because Fortnite hit its peak during belief season OG and chapter five when that dropped so this just is this is just like straight up wrong but one thing i will say is that the story um not not that i was like super into the the storyline kind of backing the game right backing the battle royale mode but it really did fall off uh, after he left and the whole like yearly chapter thing also I think kind of sucks because when when chapter three ended after season four I, I was kind of just expecting them to use that as a test for like a really short chapter and that was kind of it not that every chapter should be like 10 seasons long I'm not saying that like you can at least do six or seven you know what I'm saying like I, I don't know the whole yearly chapter thing I don't like you can do like a year and a half I think that would be a little better Kai creative kind of says what I already said before but I don't think chapter Chapter 4 had the best map. Definitely some of the most fun I've ever had in the game, though. This person says Fortnite had the best graphics during Chapter 4 and the best art style in Chapter 2 and 3. I don't know. I think Chapter 4 had the best art style. It was that perfect blend of, like, sort of realistic, super detailed, and cartoony, in my opinion. But Chapter 2 and 3's art style is also pretty timeless, I, I, I will say. I don't know. Chapter 5 just doesn't sit right with me after Chapter 4. <laughs> like, come on. This person says Fortnite is losing its identity and that nobody plays LEGO Fortnite or Rocket Racing. Well, I, I, there's people who, out there who definitely appreciate those game modes. I think Fortnite Festival is really the one that's that's gonna stay and outlast all the others. Um, but I think Fortnite has been losing its identity ever since Donald Mustard left. So um, what, what this guy was basically saying up here. Again, I don't think a lot of these are super hot takes. I think a lot of people would actually agree with these. Fortnite's slowly trying to kill off Creative 1.0 creative in general i don't know about creative in general but they definitely are pushing uefn more and as much as it sucks they are going to push the cash grabbing playtime farming maps more than anything because that's what's making them money it just only makes sense from a business standpoint this guy says uefn ruined fortnite from release i don't know if it ruined fortnite that's kind of a stupid claim to make if anything it's bringing more people into the game but if you're referring to like the discover tab and all the terrible games that are being pushed in the discover tab then yes i would agree this is probably the hottest take out of the bunch. Uh, Primal wasn't really all that bad. Chapter 2, Season 6. But, like, it kind of was, though. And that's coming from somebody who actually did play the season. I mean, you say here that the, the crafting system was rough but experimental, which, I mean, yeah, they tried new things. You mentioned that the bows are pretty good. But, I mean, if that's the highest praise you have to give Chapter 2, Season 6, was it really that good? I don't know. Like, it was alright at best. I got Tier 100 that season, but, like, only 
because I was bored one night and said, hey, screw it. I'm going to do challenge grinding. You know, like it was one of those. I don't really remember there being that much content released mid-season. But then again, that could just be me being stupid and not remembering anything. They brought the pump back and that was probably, along with the bows, the, be the best part of the season. This guy down here says the same thing, by the way. Yeah, I don't know. It, it is all right. I'm trying to hit 9K by the end of the year. So please subscribe if you enjoyed. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it. See ya.